everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching the Model 3 Tip of the Week. On Now You Know. All right, so Jesse and I went out and we did something kind of funny to Jesse's Model 3. Check it out. All right, so this is the camera that's on the B pillar. It's giving, you can kind of see where it's pointing. It's pointing a little bit forward, mostly sideways. So it's getting all, all the side of the car and, and a little bit up to the, to the front. So let's cover this up and see if we can get it autopilot. All right, so Jesse, what do you, what do you think's gonna happen? Um, I think, I don't, honestly, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like that camera's important. So you can see it's only been seeing cars out of the right. So let's, let's get onto a road. So you, you're just basically, you're not gonna predict anything. I can't, I don't know. I don't know, this is why we're testing it, you know? I get into TAC cruise control, traffic okay. work cruise control. So oh, we can still get into TAC, that's good. That's good. In fact, we don't even need to get on the highway to see if it can get into cruise control, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, I'll just speed. get on, I'll just get on the turnpike here. An autopilot. It worked. All right. So blocking the left B pillar camera doesn't affect getting into autopilot. So let's see. I am interested to see though that we're seeing it any disappeared. Oh. oh, it's still there. Oh, it wasn't accurate, but it was represented. Interesting. So I mean, it, this can see it from the front camera now, but and no one's off to our side. So let's see. There's a guy coming up on my left. I'll take it. Oh, I, I mean, I'll take it out of autopilot for a second. Yeah, you still showed up the whole time. So what I'm thinking is that it's using the ultrasonic sensors and... Maybe just the ultrasonics. Maybe just the ultrasonics, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the radar is only out the front. I want to try a lane change. Okay. Let's see if it does it. It won't. It doesn't like it. It won't do it. Won't do it. Won't do it. Oh, wait, I think it was about to. <laughs> but yeah, it didn't do it. I think we need more testing. see if we can do a lane change in autopilot. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's very happy with that. Oh, it seemed to misread where that other Tesla was. But I mean, it did it. But it did it. Let's try it again. Okay, we're going for another lane change. It did it. It did it. So, taping up one of the uh, cameras didn't seem to matter. Are you surprised by that result? I mean, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, you know, that's one camera. There's another camera right there looking back. So it could be that they're redundant, so that one of them could get covered and the other one can kind of cover for it. Um, I think there's only one way to find that out. Yeah, we have to put tape on that one. All right. This camera, apparently, not necessary for lane changes in this direction. Kind of interesting. So you're gonna tape up the next camera? The next camera, which is right here. So, I mean, this one is facing back, almost entirely back. If it's nice and wide angle, it could get sideways. So it could have been covering for the frontward-ish facing camera. There's a camera here, and there's a camera here. So if you're saying that it can see out straight from here, and you have this camera here, then there's a blind spot here. Okay. But off to the side, maybe it's happy. So we're gonna cover up this one, see if we can do a lane change. spotting something there? Yeah, it says uh, surround vehicle display limited. If issue persists, contact Tesla service. Interesting. So that is interesting. So I'm gonna guess right now that's gonna keep us from doing any lane changes. It's probably even going into autopilot. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll try and, I mean, it won't let me put it in now. See? Interesting. Normally you would definitely be able to do it here. Oh, so we're, that oh, wait, wait. I think I just saw it for a second. It might just be because we're on a road with, you know, towards huh. the intersection okay. with bad line. Wow, oh, it can go into autopilot. I put it in autopilot. It says surround view limited. Auto lane change temporary disabled. Interesting. So I can't do auto lane change, but it'll still do autopilot. Wow. I mean, I didn't see that coming. No. You saw it here first, people. That's crazy. So I mean, you can still do auto. So that's with two cameras knocked out on your side. Wow. That's Would you amazing. have predicted that? No. 
All right, so last time we were seeing cars on my left. Let's see if we see them now. So we can definitely see them in the cone of vision of my car, but we don't see anyone on my left, which there is. Yeah, there's a guy right there. And so you can see as we pull up this SUV, kind of melds and disappears because it loses it. Interesting, so I mean, I was thinking it was the ultrasonics doing it, but it's definitely a combination of ultrasonics and cameras. Definitely. Wow. I'm going to remove the tape and now see what it says. So, so now, we still so get the- Uncover the B pillar, but we still got tape on the front, the uh, rear facing camera. Yeah. I think that's interesting. It's still saying no lane change, basically. Maybe the computer needs a little time to think, though, or something. Maybe. Yeah, so it still says surround view limited, so perhaps that camera is more important. Ooh. Although, I think that we should put it in park and then see what it says. Just quickly bring this to a quick stop. Pop it in park. Put it back in drive. So we still have surround display limited. So that's interesting. Yeah, that camera's more important than we thought. Yeah. And yeah, auto lane change is still disabled. So, that's very interesting. Very interesting. All right, so uh, this camera's pretty important. Um, definitely don't cover yours up with tape if you plan on using autopilot. And if you're getting you know, the errors that we were seeing inside, Go around, check all your cameras, and make sure they're not covered with mud or dirt or dust or snow or tape. You know, make sure that there's nothing there. So I mean, I think that was very interesting that one camera can be covered. Yeah. Um, but this one cannot. This one's really important. Really important camera. Yeah. Good to know. Hey, okay. now you know. Now you know. Hey, thank you everybody for watching our Model 3 Tip of the Week. Really important that if you have some questions or tips that you know of, please submit them in the comments below. Send them to us on Facebook or at Zach at NowYouKnow Channel.com. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Now, now you know. know.